There is no better definition of what APC means as against the popular or progressive congress to the actual definition, a party of confused fellows. Okay, let me let me let me let me let, the, let me let me let the cat let me let let me let the cat out of the bag. I spoke with Sheyi. Another well, president will be having at the issues. NBA conference. Yes. He was absent at the peace accord signing. Uh, some would say those were crucial events in there to that he should have been there. Surrogate, which is mm -hmm. his uh, running mate. That's not correct. He wasn't absent at NBA conference. He he delegated his deputy, his running mate. You say he was to there. represent him. He represented him, so he wasn't yeah, there. Yeah, and he represented him. Uh, uh, a party of confusion. Confusion everywhere. Confused with governors. Confused with elections. Confused with uh, with uh, um, everything. Even to a campaign council, there is confusion. Confusion with rallies. Everybody do that. You are seeing that Nigerians are marching on the streets, making bold statements about their demands for new government. A new agenda, a new country, a new nation, a new focus. You want to arrange people in the name of Indigos in Lagos and set them together. They are funny faces everywhere. You are seeing the pictures of their funny faces. Of course, the list, the proposal, and the expenditure of that event is out. And we are seeing that you shared money, you use money for everything. I probably thought I used 4,500 naira as, as um, stipends. To the people, we are also concerned about the money you are paying for some of these things. DJ will generate and all those things. This is how you have run this government. Racketeering everywhere, putting money everywhere, everywhere, venue, everything. Lies upon lies. We cannot continue like this. We cannot continue like this. Meanwhile, why is it that Fessos Kenyamu and um, um, Adam Sosomole are now the two spokespersons of the party? <laughs> That is what you are used to. People are celebrating them. That is, that's the problem. It's unfortunate though. Nigerians are still making very obvious errors. We want to hand over a, 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 a new, a, this time, at this era, we want to hand over government to, a, to a, a set of people that will employ people that will be engaging us, whereas they will not be doing anything exactly. You do not see the Minister of Labor and Employment walking out of a meeting that was supposed to be for stakeholders to sort the ASU. He walked out because of a political problem. He said that the ASU chairman he, he, he's, he's campaigning against his party. So he walked out. His party's priority was top for him. Against the national interest of this country. That same thing we are seeing now. Ask Kayamo this question today, we'll answer another. Ask Osho Oshomole, we'll answer another one. And now, Oshomole has gone to... He's not fighting. He wants to fight interviewers that are interviewing questions. He wants to fight journalists. Simple question, show me like I know as I watch. On All right, manifesto. great, fantastic. And I'm so glad you just mentioned your candidate. And just like I mentioned earlier, I mean, he doesn't seem to be on the scene. You were asked recently. Where is the scene? Ho hold on, hold on a bit. You were asked recently about the whereabouts of your presidential candidate, Bola Ahmed Tinubu. And you, uh, you said, uh, actually, as DG, you're not aware. Are you aware now? And can you seize this opportunity to clarify exactly as to the health status of Tinubu because we've been seeing all kinds of videos and pictures out there on social media. Can you kind of help us have you seen? of him on, on you know, on the spin, bike. spin bikes and, you know, doing uh, exercise and all of that in some gym on, on, on and gym some, are in some, a hospital? I didn't say in anything about hospital. In a hospital? No, Which no. One? So, yeah, and yeah. that's exactly what we <laughs> want you to clarify right now. What is his health status? Exactly where is he? Yeah, Do you know you where know, he, he is? To be very honest, you know, right. you are, you are, you know, the uh, Arad Television is a very, you know, I mean, you are a very, very, uh, you are one of the leading electronic media. And I think there are things you should do double into. How can you ask me mm -hmm. from all that you said about my ex, this ex, that, ex, that? Right. Have I ever been a nurse? Not to talk of being a doctor. And you really want to ask me, even though I am not a lawyer, I know enough. But your head status is your problem. It's your secret. Yeah, but if he, he, if he becomes My president of Nigeria, it will be a Nigerian wait, problem. Wait, won't it if, be? Okay. And Nigerians if, want to if know. If it becomes a Nigeria problem, mm. it will not be laymen who will speak to it. It will be people who are competent in law. And there are those provisions in our constitution. Mm. All I'm saying is that it is not even right. In my view, it's abuse of your right as a journalist 
to ask me to speak to the head of another person. Not because there is any rumor that it's somebody... It's not another will, person. Me, it is a person who me. is seeking to be the president of Nigeria. Yes. And based on where Nigerians are coming from, what is the they basis don't of the want what is to the experience what? another well, president who will be having... He was absent at the issues. NBA conference. Yes. He was absent at the peace accord signing. Uh, some would say those were crucial events in there. That he should have been there. Surrogate, which is mm -hmm. his uh, running mate. That's not correct. He was absent at NBA conference. He, he delegated his deputy is running mate he was to there. represent him he, he represented him so he wasn't yeah, there and he represented him uh, uh, competently mm -hmm. right and he did the same at the uh, signing of the peace accord at the, at the signing of the peace accord and those documents are valid right so how soon are we likely to see mr tinubu back in the country is it a film viewing well nigerians want, want to, to unveil a film nigerians want to see him no no no, no. i'm also in nigeria right I think what Nigerians want to see mm -hmm. is the manifesto, and we're working on it. And you know, there are things. Remember, okay, what exactly remember, is this? What you know, should we remember, expect whatever from you that? ask people, right? Because we are all in public feed. If I ask you, what is the hair status of your colleague? Is that a fair question to ask you? It will not be because you why know not? why. Because she's, really not seeking not public, public she's not seeking public office. Seeking and public for as office. long as she sits here, it's a demonstration that she's fit enough to be here. Okay. Right. Good. Good. Good, I agree. So, so okay, now but before what, we let what you I'm go, saying to you right. is when you see a doctor, mm -hmm. ask we, a doctor we should ask the doctor medical questions. Mm -hmm. I okay, am not great. one. That's fair enough. But so, I can tell you one thing right. as far as a layman is concerned, is concerned mm -hmm. which doesn't carry any weight in law. I see why you is not only really healer, heavy, he's stronger than the other candidates. The of the three or four or five main presidential candidates, he's the only one. Who, to my knowledge, mm -hmm. because I've had opportunity to interact with all of them before I became even uh, I got into politics as a labor man. I saw you host meeting up to 4 a.m. Monday to Sunday, and some of us are telling him you can't be doing this. Right. That is the level of his strength, mm -hmm. and I can say this on oath. So where people get this thing about is not well. Is this? Is this? It's just convenient. Do right. you know who is where? It does look like an issue that will plague well, your yeah, campaign. That will never, not and for a while no, no, you hands. for media who are not interested in issues, mm. the segment of the media that is not in, interested in issues that you are interested in personality, it will be your body. Okay. For me, I will busy myself marketing to Nigerians what I think the challenges are and how I believe our candidate will address them if elected. Okay. That's what right. I will do. You will be free to try to take me out of the issues. And I will be stubborn enough to remain on the issues because that will be the basis for our election. Before we let you go, I am one, going one into minute. this campaign. Let's give you one minute. It to is not for nothing that yeah. I am not a medical doctor selected. I know what Nigerians want. Right. I live in the environment. What do they want? What do Nigerians want? And can Bola Tinubu deliver? What exactly will be the major plans of this campaign? Yeah, that is why the manifesto should be the curious thing that you should be waiting to. To hear. So we should wait for it. And I'm not the one to disclose it. Yes. All right. Thank wow. you. That's the Shomole, a former president of Nigerian Labour Congress, a former government of those, a former chairman of the party. He has risen to the highest of heights. Suddenly, he tried to defend Tinubu. He's now sounding basic, shallow, pedestrian. With all due respect, let me not go too deep. The last time they said I was too hard on him. You can imagine as. As an intellectually balanced and shumule. look at what it has been reduced to it without, without, without apology. It because he had to defend a candidate that, that is not qualified. No wonder President Buhari did not support him. Was Tinubu President Buhari's choice? Why? President Buhari no more than us. Somebody that dines with him, that lives with him. Even Yemi Osiba John's name has been removed from the council, was omitted from the council. His wife's name has been removed. From the women council too. What does that mean? Even the current version of this country, the number one citizen of this country, President Lushko, is President Muhammad Ubari, and the number one two versus the Yemi Osipa and Joy Professor do not have any form of endorsement for Bola Metunibu. Why is it that you that you advise endorsing him? What do you think is the problem? What do they not know? What do they know that you don't know? We will be, be dead sleeping. He was not President Buari's choice in the primary. Today, Osiba just disconnected him and his family from anything to You think they don't have sense? Be there, can penny for him. 
It was Kayamo that has been asked. That's going to come you want. Kayamo, where is your boss? Where is your principal? Where is your candidate? Where is he now? Watch Kayamo. Okay, two things. Mr. Kayamo, where is your candidate? Where is your presidential candidate? A lot of people have been asking about his whereabouts. I'm out. Where is he? When will he be back to the country? And secondly, why does he need to relieve, release a proof of life video? Because the indications that signs are that things are not well. Even the African editor of The Economist had to say it's a bad sign for a presidential candidate to release a proof of life video. So where is he? What's even going on as we speak? The opinion of um, a journalist in, a, in London or in US somewhere is not the barometer by which we judge our own affairs here. So uh, I will not accept that you quote one journalist somewhere in London as a barometer by which we judge our affairs. But let me also say that uh, our candidate, my information is that he's hale and hardy. That is the information I got as of this morning. Hale, hardy, healthy. He's out of the country and will be back in a number of days. It's as straightforward as that. There's no controversy, no indication that uh, there should be a cause for concern. I do understand that he's a candidate for an election, but you should also understand that he's not president too, to issue a statement every minute as to where he's whereabouts. The standard is not as high as being the president of Nigeria. He's just a candidate. Okay. Yes, he has some responsibility towards the electorate. I do agree. But the standard is not as high as a president okay. in office who should, at every point in time, issue statements as to his whereabouts. Mr. Keamo, so why did he release the message on his official verified Twitter handle that some people say I'm dead, but this is, hey, my proof of life video? He had to release an official statement. So why is he away? Is he sick? What is going on, really? Why is he away in the first place when the campaigns well, have started? Is he sick? Well, well, it appears that you put him in a cash 22 situation. Now, if you, the rumor mill is agog that something is wrong with him and he says nothing for one or two weeks, that is also an extreme situation, you will agree. Now, if he says something, you now say, why does he have to say so? Why does he have to prove that he's alive? So you put him in a cash 22 situation. Either way, there will be criticisms. So that is why I said, we are not going to live our life for the opposition. We're not going to live our life for, you know, uh, mischief makers. I know that there are some genuine concerns, genuine inquiries. I do know, maybe like journalists like you, your concerns are genuine, but they are also mischief makers. But for those who are genuine like you, I think you should be satisfied when a spokesperson for a campaign council comes to sit on set to say, well, as of this morning, I got information is hale and hardy. That should be enough for you. Have you, you should not to him? If you probe further, it is mischief. No, I'm not mischievous. I'm just concerned. I've have spoken you, have, have to you spoken to him? Have you spoken to the candidate himself? Your okay, candidate? Okay, let me let me let me let, me let me let me let the cat let me let let me let the cat out of the bag. I spoke with Sheyi. The son is with him. And the son said, oh, daddy is sleeping, he's say he's okay. And that is the son. I'm speaking to you directly on this. Have you heard that? A government that the son will, be, will have more powers than the running mate. A government that the son will have more powers than the council. That's kind of government. She eat Tinubu. Father is sleeping. <laughs> I look at Peter, I'll be running everywhere. His wife is in the home, certain things. She is now. <laughs> Oh Lord, if we talk, they say we are against this campaign of, of calumny. Is that not the situation? What else do you want to hear? You can see these two people. Kayamo is an essay, he's a barrister, a learned gentleman. He has been reduced to a man talkative who is talking baselessly, shallowly, without facts and figures. People that are trying to use English to, 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 to misbehave, to drive around. But you can see, see, that is an empty conversation because these guys keep saying the same thing. He don't know, he's not sick. The other day, it was the woman leader of the APC. I was saying that when she is sick, she runs to UK. Okay, he's a pussy for sick, she cannot say that. He is sick. <laughs> I will never mock Tinubu, say, but the fact is, when somebody is tired, you tell him to rest. When he's night, you sleep. Let's be, let's be serious. Let's be serious. Take of you share this video. Let this video get to them. Let's keep showing them.
Let's ask them. Where is Tinubu? Where is your principal? Where, where is your candidate? Is, if he's, is he sick? And if he's sick, what's the state of his head? Don't deceive yourself and say we, we don't know. We know we need to know. Did you not hear Buhari say that he, he wished he was, he was still the time he was strong, would have done better? Now I want to pull in somebody into government that you can see fiscally. Sam Lokwefe, in his words, the legendary Sam Lokwefe. You see river, you give up, you enter inside, you be fish. No, you be fish. God forbid, bad thing. See, sometimes it's not, it, it's, it's worrisome. It's, let's share this video, please. Let's share this video. Let's share the video. Let's ask these people what they think they do. do, do, do they see there? Are they seeing what are they taking us for? Are we fools? For the second time, God forbid. God forbid. It is okay to make errors. But it will be a taboo if you keep repeating the same errors. Only Nigerians are looking for, and who, those bunch of people that are collecting money from these people to run rallies and engagement for them, to sound, to give them social capital, to give them political capital. God will judge you. God will judge you. Come on, my friends.